Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, OXFU. I almost said Resident Evil 4 and I don't know why. <laughs> um, so last time, well, we developed this film, I decided to go back and use the save file from before I developed the film because I just don't want to waste the ammo getting to the develop the developing room. Uh, the dark room. That's what they're called. <laughs> Never actually had to develop photos myself, so... The only reason I know what they're called is from movies and TV, so... Uh, I'm sure that's everybody's experience for the most part. So we're gonna toss in film, we're gonna toss in those ink ribbons, and I think we're all set to start going... Unlocking places with the club key. Let's just double check. Make sure we know where we're going. So we got that one place uh, at the end of the interrogation halls. We got the place with all the zombies. And that is it. Unfortunately, we don't have the hand crank. So we can't go up and... We can't go up to the clock tower to look for anything. I had to think for a second, because I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, no wait, is it the hand crank or the valve handle we need? But no, the valve handle is just used for... Well, for the lab and for the valve <laughs> that's in... on top of the precinct building, so... Yeah, we, we can't lower... What is it called? Lower the staircase with the... with the valve handle. <laughs> <sighs> Jeez, I was expecting something to happen because it was taking a second longer to load than I expected. I gotta stop double... I, I gotta stop uh, double-guessing myself like that. I end up freaking myself out before I even step into a room. Alright, no zombies in here quite yet. I have a feeling that we won't have to worry about them for a little while, because if it's anything like Leon's story, they're not going to be bursting in until we come back through. Okay, so this is the break room. This is the room with, that had the magnum in it in Leon's story. You know, the magnum that I didn't pick up or anything. No, I'm gonna leave that ink ribbon on the off chance that... Well, there's stuff that I can get. Nothing in this locker. Just scantily clad women adorning the front. I don't like that I can't actually see on that other side. Anything good on TV? A paper more than a week old. I think we could read it or something. Alright, now if I remember correctly, this guy is dead. Of course, I'm expecting a zombie to show up in the mirror behind me, sort of, like, condemned. <laughs> His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Ooh. Okay, so he doesn't have anything on him, at least. Watchman's Diary. Stuff that we've already read! You playing, what is it, playing chess with the guy who works in the scrapyard out back, was it? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Some sort of a game. Some, I, I think it was chess. And then, uh, the guy from the scrapyard turns into a zombie and so forth. Acid rounds. Very nice. Not the magnum, but, I don't know, I haven't even used the the grenade launcher with the acid rounds yet, so I have no idea how how well it's gonna work. Thank god I actually picked it up. <laughs> Unlike with Leon's story where I went through without the the back the magnum at all. I left the ink ribbons. I realized that. <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm getting better at remembering things <laughs> that I forgot. A little bit better, at least. <laughs> Alright, now let's go into the morgue. 
We gotta fight some zombies, and... Mm, we gotta get the card key that I believe is down there. No sounds, should be good. Of course, I need to drop off things before we can do anything, because, well... Claire can only carry so much. So we're just gonna hop downstairs right quick. It's just too much stuff. That's what it ends up being. We've got probably like 20 items stored in the storage chest. I don't think I've ever had that many items before. <laughs> like even Leon, I was running quite low around this time, I think. Like, look at this, look at- oh my goodness, we've got so much. So we're gonna toss the acid rounds in, no reason to take them yet. Uh, I think I might take the flame rounds. That might help with the zombies. Oh, or should we leave those for the uh, triffids? Nah, I'm gonna take them. I think we're gonna need them. Just because, well, that morgue is completely filled with zombies. <laughs> Again, I'm, I, if it's... If it's what I'm gonna be... If it's similar to how Leon's story played out... It's just gonna be a, bar a barrel of fun. <laughs> so, let's go get that card key. Take it from that man's cold, dead fingers. Autopsy room. Yes, I know it's useless. And what have we here? Liquor. I wonder. He's on the ceiling, I can tell. Oh! Nope, nope, I am not gonna... <sighs> okay, okay, let's, let's try this again. Hmm. I really should get the bow gun. I don't think I'm, there's any easy way to take him out otherwise. I mean, I could use the grenade launcher, but I'd rather use that for groups of enemies, if you know what I mean. Ooh, this is gonna- no, oh, this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Thought I could have snuck by him. I guess not. Alright, let's grab the bow gun quick. I should- I should just kept it. It's not like we're getting much anyway. <laughs> This episode is just going to be going back and forth between <laughs> that room and this one. Alright, but there are no zombies in there, so I'm going to drop off the flame rounds. There we go. I mean, one liquor, we should be able to take care of them, no problem. I'm just worried what's going to be outside once we leave the autopsy room. Hopefully, it's not more liquors, because I don't know what I'll be able to do then. If I'm lucky, it'll be dogs, because I can actually take them out with a pistol. I don't know if they made them weaker since Resident Evil 1. But, I don't know. Resident Evil 1, I never really tried to take out the dogs with the pistol. And then this one, like we found out early on with Ada, you can take them out in like five shots. It's the same as a zombie, pretty much. Alright, so... I can't even aim at him. Let's get out the bow gun. Anything over there? Thought I might as well check, since he hasn't dropped down on me yet. <laughs> oh! No! No, 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 no! God damn it. Die, you son of a bitch. 
I hate that I had to do that. <sighs> come on. Come on, Claire. Good enough. Good enough. Well, at least the zombies aren't going to be coming out after me. That, at least, I can feel confident about. Because, I mean, the doors are all knocked off the hinges already. I wonder if we can actually check in here at all. No? Okay. Well. Now we can open the armory room, and I know we're going to get be getting bowgun ar armor. Not armor. Ammo. <laughs> bowgun ammo. I know we're going to be getting that, so... At least that's a, uh, consolation. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, wait, we gotta be in front of the card reader. There we go. Uh, and let's see that Leon's taken everything. <laughs> well, almost everything. Empty? Empty? Oh, it's not even open. <laughs> Oh, I should have taken the advice of the game and left stuff for Claire. Oh well. <laughs> I don't think I'll be terribly damned without them. After all, if I was able to make it through the game without Leon's Magnum, I'm sure I can make it through this game without the storage deck upgrade or... the submachine gun. I didn't even use the submachine gun. I probably should have. Probably would have made things a little easier. But, ah well. You live and learn. You live and learn. Uh, might as well keep the stuff on me. We're gonna be heading back soon enough anyways <laughs> to drop off some crap. Actually, no, we're gonna be heading... Shoot. Doesn't sound like a liquor. That sounds like a dog. That is a dog. Oh, this is... This is good. I actually know how to fight dogs. Take that, you... <laughs> take that, you bitches. <laughs> I can actually say that a little... Seriously. <laughs> well, I have no idea whether they'd be male or female, but... I thought I heard a lick or two, which would have been really weird. Just having dogs hold up with lickers, you'd think that the... Well, the lickers would kill them. Well, they're... Zombie dogs at this point, so I guess not. <laughs> Cerberi. <laughs> Actually, are they? Or are they just... Feral dogs. Oop, I didn't even see him. This is the perfect angle to fight some dogs. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I have no idea. I can't tell. Because <laughs> the character moves back just a little bit every time you shoot. Oh, shoot, I keep getting the timing wrong, too. So it's impossible <laughs> to aim sometimes in these hallways. Ugh. Anything? No? Huh. Would have thought we'd at least get something off of this guy. Alright, so the kennel must be open. Are you... dead dead, or just... Okay, I think you're dead dead. <laughs> That's good. Alright, check the cell or check the kennel first? That's the big question. Take the film. Oh, damn it, I don't want to go back to the... frickin' frickin'... I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I do not want to go back to the dark room. 
But I have to now. Ah! I need to know what those pictures are. Maybe, maybe... It's, uh... It's... An addition to the Rebecca picture. Maybe... It's pictures of Chris in a... I don't know, sports uniform. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to think of something ridiculous that it would be. Just wasting my ammo now. I think that's it. No, that's not something I can pick up. But, maybe there'll be the herbs in here. Yeah, see, that they're all... knocked off the... Kennel doors are all knocked off and everything, and we got blue herbs, which I might as well not even bother with. I think I only got poisoned once the last time I went through. <laughs> and let's see. Can we go through here, or is it just... No. Okay. Besides, we can't take the blue herbs because we have to take a crank. So we can actually get up to the clock tower. All right, and then we can go back and do that puzzle with the gear, and actually get the gear. Because I think I got sidetracked before. <laughs> uh. All right, let's just check the cells right quick. I have a bad feeling about this. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody about to have their chest explode from a... zombie parasite? No, I won't take the blue herb because I have no use for it right now. Although I, will, I probably will need it later on, so I'll probably have to come back here. Well... Hello, sir. Wait. Something appears to have burst from inside. Okay, I thought he, it said was saying something like something appears to be on him or something. Okay, I see the I see the bolts. I want to check the cell first. Bolts are more important than herbs right now. So we need to restock on all the ammo I've wasted. Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. I hate that sometimes the bow gun shoots three and sometimes it shoots one. What I wouldn't give for it to just shoot the same amount every time. <laughs> what I wouldn't have, what I wouldn't give for it to have actually hit that liquor. Ah. All right. Well, I'm gonna return here later to collect all the herbs and stuff that we I've left behind. But for now, let's return figure out a couple of puzzles. Actually, is that a map on the... No, it's not. Okay. Figure out a couple of puzzles. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to go up to the clock tower, and I'm guessing that's the last piece that we need for uh, Chief Iron's secret doorway. And... Okay, I'm just making sure there's no new enemies. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I think that's it. And then we move on to the lab, I'm guessing. So I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Fu. Take it easy.